In, uh, in this video, we're going to look at a, a few different ways to transfer your, uh, your drawing to the paper for, for collage. The first way to transfer is to make an impression with a hard pencil or a pen. This is the most efficient way. Uh, it's, it's one step. Um, but it has the risk of maybe a, linking ink, uh, a leaking ink pen or uh, it could be a broken lead that would come about. It also makes a little bit more of a, of a permanent mark because it makes a, an, indent, an indentation into the paper below. So you, know, you have to make sure that you're being as precise as you want to be because you can't just uh, erase it and get rid of that uh, indentation that's going to occur. Now the another way, second a second way to accomplish this that we're going to look at is is to flip the page over and to put down with a soft pencil lead uh, a layer a layer of graphite. And so if we have a layer of graphite on the back of our pattern that covers the whole area behind where we need to retrace. The, the image, then it'll uh, allow us you know, to, to go back over that outline to trace it again uh, and get the, the, the graphite just stuck behind in, in that track that you're, that you're tracing. This can also allow you to be like a little bit more precise because sometimes when you're trying to put a lot of pressure down to make indentation like in the first way that I showed, uh, it can make you work a little bit heavy-handed whereas it's, it's a maybe a little bit easier to, to work the same way that you draw with with this method. And because it's just pencil lead, then it's uh, it'll be erased. The last way would just be to flip over the page uh, and and to burnish it with the pencil or to burnish it with like a wooden spoon or something like that. It's kind of a in-between way, similar to the to the first two as you can as you can see. And in the in the rest of this video, I just want to uh, you know start the cutting process because uh, you have to follow a more intricate drawing. It's a little bit of a different uh, different kind of cutting procedure, you know. And and so in trying to to follow follow that uh, maybe more detailed mark that you've made, then it gets sort of challenging to to, to use that that knife. And so what I want to point out is that. The best way to, to approach it is the way that you would uh, think of maybe like a more mechanical approach, like if you're using a sewing machine or a scroll saw, and, and that is to again keep the knife out in front of you, keep the knife blade continuing to point away from you, and to move the paper itself to sort of spin, to spin and turn the paper to align that, uh, to align that pattern, to align that, uh, that drawing uh, to align those edges with uh, with your cut, so that you're always always able to sort of keep traveling forward, um, and rather than trying to turn that blade, which besides it uh, being kind of a, maybe a safety issue, it's actually very difficult to cut with the blade if you're trying to push it sideways uh, or off at an odd angle. It's easier to sort of keep pushing it forward and to keep sort of turning the the uh, the paper again, keeping your your hand that's turning it. Uh, well away from the blade, really out out uh, to the edges uh, as you're as you're doing it. Um, but this this tends to be a pretty good process. And the last thing I'll point out uh, that you see as I'm as I'm kind of moving through is, again, you might need to, to to make more than one cut, or it might sort of perforate it, but you still have to sort of punch it through. Um, and then when you have these uh, pieces to work with, then these sort of procedures to continue to modify. Uh, can go on from there. So you, you have these uh, components that you're working with, but then those can be overlapped, can be cropped, uh, can be sort of re-edited, uh, can be recombined, can be torn, uh, and so forth to, fiat, to, to find uh, you know, new creative ideas beyond maybe what you first thought of as you start to sort of see visual connections or start to sort of uh, think about what uh, what it looks like in the ultimate, in the uh, design that you ultimately come to.